Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to my um, Limbo, the Adam Plays Limbo episodes. This is episode six. Um, I've been working on I Want to Be a Boss here. I hope you guys have seen the episodes. Um, really enjoying that game at the moment, so I haven't really been playing Limbo. So I thought I'd go back into it, get some more videos uploaded, so you can guys can see what I'm doing. So we'll resume from where we were last time. Which I believe, yeah, that's right. We landed, we did the whole hotel bit, and we landed down here. Why are you being such a pain? God, it's so weird playing this game. Oh, what's going on? Be careful. Come on, Tim. We have adventures to do. This game is so different to Boshy. <laughs> I'm used to playing a fast-paced, quick game, while this game is completely different. Right. Obviously, can't go that way. It's so different. Right. I will go right. <laughs> Here we go. Now, um, yeah. I want to be a boshy. That's the main videos I've done recently. Um, really, like I said, really enjoying that day game. Sorry. I'm not getting anywhere through it. It's so difficult, but at least... You know, it's entertaining, that's the main thing. It's all about trial and error. Right, now a goddamn slug has got me. Oh no! No, no! Right, Tim, where are we going? I've been slugged up so I can't go right anymore. I can only go left. Here we go. I do love this game. Like I said, it's been a while since I played it last, but hopefully this time we had a. Right, the light! As you guys can recall in my last episodes, the light chain well alters the path of the slug. So once a slug is attached to your head, you can only go in one direction, which it basically tells you to go. Use the light to change the direction, and there's these weird animal snapping creatures that come down, and they remove the slug from your head. So you basically your goal when you've got a slug on your head is to find those creatures. So that's what I'm going to try and do now. Okay. So, so, there's a lot of walking around on this game. I, c I always forget there's lots of just boring, long halls of walking. And I mean, I do love it. It looks absolutely brilliant. It for a, like an arcadey type game, you couldn't really go wrong with it. But it does have its you know its flaws and everything. Right. What on God's earth do I have to do here? I'll just hit that elevator button. But I can't go back, so I'm just going to carry on this way. Till eventually I get released from the from the slug of death. I'm get ready to jump. Jump! There we go. There. Nice. You've got to love it. Ready? Ready, 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 ready. Jump! There we go, Tim. Good man. Oh... There we go. Cool. So we're definitely getting through here. What does this do? Oh, no. Oh. No, 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 no. No, no. <laughs> oh, God. This is going to end really badly. Oh, there we go. Of course that was going to happen. Of course I was going to die. What, I've been playing this game for... What, three minutes? Three, four minutes, and I haven't died yet. Of course I was going to die at some point. At least it's not quite as bad as Boshy, but... There we go. Right, I'm going to walk incredibly slow now. So I can push... No, come on, drop that box. Please drop that box. That's it. Oh, no, no, no. Jump! Oh! Second try. Can't really go wrong with that, can you? And here are the creatures. Release me! Thank you. Do I want to check what's down there, or should I just leave it? Doesn't look like anything good's going to come out of it. Right. Oh, I've got. I'm going to wait. I think. Ugh, the waiting game. Yeah, back to Boshy. I hope you guys have been enjoy enjoying the videos. Like I said, I definitely have. I think they're really for a little free game and everything. It is quite entertaining, and I do recommend you you get it. 
Um, I'm not too sure where I found it, actually. I think I just typed in I want to be the Boshi online, and I found um, the download downloaded there. So if you guys fancy playing it, look it up. Limbo, obviously, you have to buy. I've got it on Steam. I've got it in a sale. I think it was like a pound something. Uh, the first time I played this game was on Xbox, and um, absolutely loved it. And when I saw it on Steam for so cheap, I had to get it. I'm used to... Oh, that's it. Right, so obviously I've got to use this as a seesaw type. Let's use it to my advantage. Come on. Jump. You need to... See, this game, this is the only thing I really don't like about this game. I do love this game, and I'm going to keep saying that, just so everybody is aware that I do love this game. But... It is so tedious at times. There are so many boring bits where you just stand around doing fuck all. And personally, I'm all about play, 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 no waiting around. That's that's my kind of gaming style. That's why I like fast-paced games like Assassin's Creed, that kind of thing. Because there isn't any sitting around. Although, I recently finished Assassin's Creed 3. Loved the gameplay. Loved a lot of things about the game, but... I wouldn't give it. I mean, some of the reviews I think were a bit too generous. Right, what am I doing here? Jump! Oh no, that's not right at all. Keep swinging, come on. Come on, keep swinging. Yeah, the reviews for it were just all way too generous, I think. It's a good game, and it plays really, really well. And compared to the last ones, it's really. Um, you know, they've gone really far with it and really developed the whole engine and the, the style of the whole game and it, it does feel a lot more comfortable playing the game but the only kind of issue with it is it just kind of I don't know it's hard to explain it just doesn't have everything that you need in a game that's the best way to describe it right so there's this box here I'm gonna use this box to my advantage and pull it onto this. There we go. Okay. I'm going to press this button. That's right. And that's a like an elevator up. So it's going to take me up to the top. There we go. I'm going to use this box now and push it off. There we go. I'm going to push it over here. Right. Let's go back. Right. Not quite sure what I've got to do. Let's just carry on and see where where I get to. See if there's anything else I can do. If I pull this lever, what does this do? That was, oh, brings down this rope. There we go. Right, unfortunately, I mean, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here. Looks like the next bit's challenging. I'm running out of time. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll resume this on my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you all on the next one. Have a nice day. See you all later.